I'm not a religious person, but I do strive to stay spiritual, try to be positive. Though I have fallen many, many a time and have done some very hurtful, cringeworthy things, I do try to get back up and maintain a sweet soul. Like majority of us, I think we all try to be good people. None of us have the answer, though. But I think one thing we can all agree on is that when reading the book of Genesis, we can all agree that the original blueprint foundation that God intended this house we call Mother Earth to be, it didn't really pan out the way it was supposed to. <laughs> all right, you know, because of the tree of knowledge or wisdom or the tree of life. And those darn cunning serpents, who would have ever, who would have ever thought of? I can't sit here and honestly say that if it was me, I would have done it differently when presented with such a temptation. Because if you think about it, according to the writings, that was the first temptation ever. So, you know, we hear about original sin. Well, there would never be original sin if there was never an original temptation. I can't sit here and say that I'd, if it was me, I would have said no to the serpent's temptation and not touched the forbidden fruit. I, I am also a vegetable guy anyway, so. Anyway, all I'm trying to say is that this isn't the Garden of Eden. This isn't the euphoric, beautiful, pure land of paradise. But the least we could do is make the best of it. Try our best to be good to one another. And even though not every day is milk and honey, we can still be sweet to each other.